This is the ultimate guide on how to dribble a soccer ball. In this video, I'll show you how to beat more defenders, how to dribble like Messi, how to improve your speed while dribbling with the ball. Lots of tips to help you improve your footwork as well as how to dribble with your head up. Check out this video, share it with your friends if you want to become a better dribbler. Let's go. If you don't know about me, I used to be a huge underachiever, but through obsessive self-improvement, I found my success. Earned a college scholarship, played for my national futsal team, a YouTube channel with over 100 million views. I've helped players worldwide, and I'd love to help you improve faster and achieve more. But basic dribbling technique, you want to think about little touches, keeping the ball nice and close in front of you. Okay, you don't want big heavy touches that get away from you and you're always chasing them all over the field. Okay, so think about those little touches, keeping the ball nice and close. So if you do have to, you can manipulate it in different ways. So quick little touches and then obviously you want to think about cuts. So inside cuts, really helpful if you need to take an outside cut. Okay, little cuts, changes the direction so you can keep the ball away from defenders, keep possession for your team. Then obviously you can do little things like drag backs, L cuts, things like that. And that's just practicing, playing with the ball, having fun with the ball every day, becoming a better dribbler. Tip number one, be productive. I don't want you to be the type of player who takes 10 touches, you got nice skills, but you go nowhere, you do nothing with it. You wanna be the type of player who takes one touch and beats two defenders at the same time. So think about being productive and you're gonna to have to be honest with yourself. You're gonna to have to review and analyze yourself. Am I actually doing something with my dribbling or am I taking a lot of touches, going nowhere and just getting closed down? And which also closes down my teammates and stops the attack. So think about being productive. So first of all, it's so important that anytime you get the ball, you're playing here. It's gonna improve your vision, it's gonna help you make better decisions, it's gonna help you play quicker. A lot of players get the ball and we're dribbling and we know kind of where we wanna go, but our head is always down here. We can't see who we're passing to, we can't see the space that we wanna dribble into. Okay, so you need to get in the habit, even if it's uncomfortable at this point, of always picking your head up. So how are you gonna do this? Well, people always ask me, how do you play with your head up? You just start playing with your head up. Okay, in the beginning, it's gonna feel awkward. It's gonna feel uncomfortable. You're not really gonna know where the ball is. But the more you practice this, whether you're by yourself or in a team practice or in a match, just always a mental note, get your head up, get your head up. It's gonna become more and more comfortable. Okay, so when I'm drilling with my head up, yes, I may look at the ball to get my touches right, but every time I touch the ball, get out of my feet, my head is up, okay? And eventually, I don't even have to look at the ball. Okay, my head can be up the whole time because I'm comfortable with the ball at my feet. Okay, so my head is up, I'm always scanning the field. I'm looking for space to attack. I'm looking for teammates to pass to. Now, like I said, you can look down and you should look down to really perfect your touch. If you wanna have a really precise touch, then yes, look down at the ball, look back up, find your teammates, find the space. Okay, the other thing I want you to think about is your peripheral vision. So my peripheral vision is I can look forward and I can still see the ball. I still know where the ball is. Okay, so start to use your peripherals. Be comfortable looking up and looking at the ball at the same time. So first of all, little touches. Every stride, he's basically touching the ball, especially when there are defenders around. Okay, it's these little touches because the closer he has the ball to his foot, he can always manipulate it. If you have these big, heavy touches, especially when defenders are around, it's gonna give them more opportunity to win the ball. So, but a lot of players, when we get the ball for some reason, we dribble or we run with the ball much slower than we do when we don't have the ball, when we're just sprinting. Okay, so you need to get in the habit of sprinting with the ball. Okay, you wanna be able to dribble, to run with the ball at top speed. And this starts with more of a mental shift than an actual physical one. Yes, you're gonna be a little bit slower when you have the ball at your feet. If you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the Online Soccer Academy. Feet, as compared to when you don't have the ball at your feet. However, you need that mental switch that when I get the ball and there's space, I'm sprinting with that ball. I'm not jogging. I'm sprinting as fast as I can. 
low center of gravity. Why is this so important? Well, when I'm lower to the ground, you see my knees are bent more, I'm more athletic, I'm more explosive. So I can push up, I can change direction quicker. If I am about to be tackled, I can be stronger, I can be more physical in this position if I have to block players off the ball. But for, as far as dribbling, it's really gonna help you with your change of direction. So for example, if I'm cutting and I'm lower to the ground, I'm gonna be able to change direction sharper as opposed to if I'm up here. So let's say for example, I'm up here and you can see I'm up here, my balance is taking me away from the ball. I'm just not as sharp and explosive as if I was focused on being down here. Okay, so really focus on staying low to the ground, low center of gravity. Make your best one stay low and girls, Low, low here is one thing, but here don't come up here, yes? After that turn, again, stay low. Pump your arms, drive your knees, ready? Go, come on. Yeah, yeah, good and stuff. Okay. On these long ones, push that ball around with it, yeah? If you get there in one touch, but it's in your control the whole time, that's probably perfect. If you need to take multiple, that's fine. When it's time to turn, that's when you do these quick little ones, get your hips around it. Let me try. Ready, go as fast as you can. Low, touch, touch, explode. Touch, touch, explode out, boom. Yes, that's the touch. Low, explode, good time. but I just want to make one sharp move and then go, accelerate. Or even more so, I don't even have to beat defenders. I just explode, I just take off into space. Okay, so as soon as you get the ball, just go, do not hesitate. You should know where you want to go. You're playing ahead of the game. You're not just getting it and reacting. The ball's coming to you and you're already thinking, you're saying, hey, if I get the ball, I'm going to go over here with my dribbling. So as soon as you get it, just take off and accelerate and if you have to beat some guys along the way you'll do it okay but be productive with your dribbling the second thing i want you to think about is using your body as much as your touches so everyone thinks about the touches that you take but what about your body if you start using your body effectively you're going to lose possession much less often so for example, let's say I wanna just bring the ball back like that to protect it from a defender. Instead of this, maybe all I have to do is this, okay? So I didn't even have to take a touch in order to keep possession. If you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the online Soccer Academy.